Psalm 23, verse 1 to 6. The Bible says, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not know. He maketh me to lie down in the patches. He lifted me beside the sea waters. He restored my soul. He lifted me the path of righteousness for their sake. Due to I want to be funny or the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, preservation. Hallelujah. Preservation. Gentle, I want to the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou be prepared a temple before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou art with me, with all my comfort and joy. Surely, Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Forever. Somebody said, hey, You can think that the life of the people is there when they made God the shepherd of his life. His destiny was preserved. His life was preserved. So when you begin to live for God, God preserved your destiny. Preserve your life, preserve your glory. Because I live in for you. Hallelujah. Now, what are the tips to learn? Number one, be sure of the salvation. Tips to learn, be sure of the salvation. Be sure that you are genuinely born again. You are sincerely giving your life for Jesus. Be sure of your salvation. Be sure of your salvation. Then number two, be purposeful. Be purposeful. Be purposeful. What is that thing that you know that is good you want to achieve in life? Go ahead and achieve. And you know that God is the one directing you to do it. Don't look at the book of any man. As far as it's God that is directing you, go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do what God has been for you to do. Go ahead. I've seen some people that they are afraid of human being like them. And because of that, I say, no man, this is the direction, this is God that is leading me to do this. They do because they are afraid of what the human being say. What we may say. Let them talk now, they are the owner of their mouth. Hallelujah. Let them talk. They are the owner of their life. You do, you go do the return. Yes, the return. So as long as it comes at the internet, you go ahead without looking at the face of any man. Without looking at the face. Without looking at the face of any man. Go ahead. Never, never, never go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I tell you, go ahead. That is direction. Let me show a lot of people get in and be limited. A lot of people get that in many more positions. Don't be talking about the effect of human being. Are you talking about myself? How can human being? How can, how, how can human being be a bit of another human being? Human being like you. Hallelujah. Human being like you. You know that it is God needing me to do this. And you know that yet the God has spoken. They are not afraid of one being like you. Ah, what we may say, what we may say, what we may say. I remember many years ago. You know, what for God made to the assignment? And uh <laughs> what I did, and we get to our work for you. Hallelujah. He made them the answer. I answer without looking at what may be said. I answer. And I'll be able to do the men they talk of, but I don't look at their face. You are not the one that called me. You are not the one sending me. And by the God, and you are not the one feeding me. It is God. So when will I listen to you? They talk. They talk. She doesn't want to walk. She's too lazy. This is a lot. 
The Bible says, No, we know that they are rich ones in the race, not all, but what is still the price. So, what are you may obtain? And everyone that suffered for the mansion is separate in all things. Now, they do it to obtain a corruptible plan, but we are incorruptible. As the first wrong, not as a starting name, so fight hard, not as one that beat the air. But I keep hold of my body and bring it into subjection. Let that by any means, when I am free to others, I myself should be a cast away. So you can see what the apostle said. He said, if you want to run the race, a job that you are running the race now, he said, some people that we that they are which one in a race, not all but one is in the past. You are running a really really race. Five people are set on the really really race. And they are running. It is one person they will call the winner. They cannot come back from the winner. It is one person that will pass the line. Hallelujah. It is one person that will get their best. So no more. So that he may obtain the prize. No more. So that he may obtain it. No more. So that he may obtain it. All you want to do is not the flesh. Learn to preserve the flesh. Learn every day. That is why Paul used to say, I die daily. I die daily. That is why he trying, what is he trying to tell us? Always crucify your flesh daily. Crucify your flesh daily. Because if the flesh is not being crucified, I shall run in the flesh. There are some things that the flesh will be causing in your life if your flesh will not be crucified. In the future, you know, because if I, there are some things that will be costing in your life. Because the flesh is not being dead. It's not being dead. It's not being dead. Hallelujah. Now, the time you want to carry your Bible and begin to read, you are reading it to one TV for three hours. 
You are looking into what part of three for two hours. You are looking into what uh, uh, what thing for five hours, and you are watching it for something that is going. The time you want to you to turn in your Bible to pray, you are using that time to watch TV. The flesh is not being dead. Praise the Lord. The flesh is not being dead. Or you see, Mama Labata, I love you, Mama Labata. So, what it look like? In fact, you are mad. You are stupid. In fact, Shall we look like? See you, Mama You know, you begin to start beating up. The flesh is not dead. The flesh is not being crucified. And the flesh and the spirit are not one together. Because if, if the spirit says, don't do it, the flesh will tell you, do it, or you are doing it, or you are doing it, or you are doing it. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, why are you not your faith in time? Your faith should be put in mind. In the mighty name of Jesus. If I look like you, let me be not done. Let to let me be not done. I tell you, you must go to a lengthy prayer. Then you always pray, I tell you. Oh, no, my creator. You see, my faith shall lay it on the cross. You see, my faith shall lay it on the cross. And lay it on the cross. Put you want my flesh, you make my flesh on the cross. <coughs> lay my flesh on the cross. Even though somebody doing something that is very painful. Ah, that thing touch your mind. Very painful. But because of the flesh is being dead. The flesh is being dead and that is crucified. Death on the cross. You look at it and begin to tell the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, just let my mind. Just let, let my spirit, let my mind, let my heart, don't take the notice from me. You just look at it and let it go. You forgot it. You forgot it. A woman met me some years ago and when she cried to come and miss me, they can't be. That's how we are having money prayer, camping prayer. After the prayer, I just came back home. After the camping uh, prayer, she now met me, and now begin to marry. She's also a minister of God. Begin to marry some text for me. All of uh, people that we she was, that she was carrying her daughter in the Lord. By the time she felt sick, everybody, they let her. Everybody. All those people that. She was dying that problem. She was dying, you know, praying for death, and she died fasting. Yeah? And she died fasting because of them. On behalf of them. Pray. All of them, the letter. So we will begin to mock her. And say, she you, they are into other people for you. You know, she was telling her, I think of she was sharing tears. I said, I even to the person, I don't believe that I can do this to me. Ah, but the time I tell you, I'm going to let him. If we treat us on the field, she will get that we teach you a lesson. Now, next time, now, next time, I don't know what I said, it is an experience. God wanted to bring a lesson from it, so you have learned it. It has happened like that, but thank God. And you do not die, you are still alive, so they still hope for you. Hallelujah. They still hope for you. And after all that said, no matter what they have done for you, just let it go. Let it go. You are not to me. You know, so many people she thought that they are going to be the one to hold the past, to hold the history, why she gave it to me, this and that. All of them, they left the world. All of them, they left the world. They find their way. They have to the way. They have to the way. They have to go to the I told them, I said, forget it. Talk with it. 
and thank God to have mercy on you. You are forgiven and ask God to forgive you. Ask God to have mercy on you. Let me go. Is that why you think about the matter that you begin to cry? She begin to cry. I said, I did not go. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Let it go. And when I came back, the one of encouragement. Life came back to her again. Life came back to her. Hallelujah. Each time I'm preaching, I do to talk to her with her. If it's that one that she's going to see. Lord, I'm talking about the particular this kind of way that has to do with forgiveness. You see, I'm crying. You see, I'm crying. Hallelujah. You see, I'm sharing things. Let me pray that. We should not be blessed. Let it die from the cross. So no matter what people did to me, let it go. Let it go. Because even this 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 time to hold it. So the person that is holding it and the person did not forgive, both of you remain in one position. Both of you cannot move forward. Both of you come nowhere. Hallelujah. Then number four of women because of our time. Please to learn. Number four. Take a pop this time for God. In the book of Mark chapter 8. Verse 3 to 8. Mark chapter 8, verse 3 to 8. Mark chapter 8, verse 3 to 8. The Bible says, And if I send them a word passing to their own houses, they will fail by the way, for thousands of them came from far. And the temple has told me, for men than the mountains, I sanctify this man. We pray to the wilderness. And he asked them, how many laws have you? And he said, seven. And he commanded the people to sit down on the ground. And he took the seven laws and gave them and prayed and came to the disciples to stand before them. And they did stand there before the people. And they had a few small fishes and he blessed and commanded to set them also before them. So they did eat and were filled and they took off of the broken meat that was left several baskets. Several baskets. Take a public stand for Christ. Take a public stand. These are the people that came from a public stand. I want the people to tell you to your let them go. She don't do this and let them go. They came from far. They must be something. They are eating spiritual food. So they need physical food. To continue their journey. To continue their journey. Take your stand anywhere you find yourself. Whether the public or not in the public, take your stand. If you are walking in a particular place and they not tell you are. Ah, then there's still something there, and then I said, We are going to sell it. In fact, we are going to make billions on this thing we are going to sell. Can you join us to sell it together? And you will not tell them that I'm a Christian, no, I can't do it. Or that to not tell you, we too are a Christian. We need money, we need money. We do one thing or the other. Are you not going to turn over a Christian? Take your time, no matter what. Other people may do it, but you tell yourself I can't do it. Other people may do it, tell yourself I can't do it. I can't do it. Take a public stand for Christ. Take a stand. Other ladies that want to get married or men, they are sleeping around. Living a life of fornication. And then I tell you that see you. Ha, ah, you are going to open eyes. You know, some people they, they will tell you like that. They they want they want to say, you are going to open eyes, see you. Ah, you better come out and be like us. You that you know you are living for God, you don't need to do it even best by the day. 
You take your stand. I said, no, I know what the word of the Lord told me. The bed was going to fall. I can't do it. I can't do it. The bed was going to fall. Take a public stand for God. Or you are a student now. You now want to, you are in the school. And then you will not talk about it. Ah, if you don't sleep with me, in fact, I will not, you will not pass your exam. I'm going to sit for paper. I know what you're feeling, you're going to say, ah, oh, this is exam, I must pass, I must not have carry over. I must not, I must not, I must not have carry over. And you should not go and do it, just because of, you want to pass that exam. What are the people who are doing it at top of the town? At top of the town. And you can see all the years that I'm feeling grass. But just because of, you want to pass your exam. You want to pass it. Take your stand. Take your stand. Take your stand. Or you are a married woman. Other women do you or woman. Or as they call it these days, woman. With other men, they pay them amount of money to give themselves to men. And you now look at the situation and say, ah, let me go and join them. And then in the case of Jesus, they have to take this. Take your master. Do you want to take your master? All that they are doing for Charlie said for them, I can't do it. All that they lie, I can't lie. All that they do, I can't see. All that they pass short cut to succeed the life, I can't pass short cut to succeed. I must wait for God's path. Because what God said, it is my time, it is my time, my time can never pass me. My time can never pass me. I can't stop the end of somebody just because of my want to succeed. So that they can remove that person. Stop the end of somebody. But people are doing it. But you take your time, I can't do it. Hallelujah. There are some people that they will pass the end of somebody. But for other people. So that they can really do one thing or the other. And I do one. Don't go on about it. So that they can remove that person. They can be placed in the end. Take a bottle of some of your sons. Take a bottle of some of your Hallelujah. Take a bottle of some of your sons. Tell yourself, I must take a bottle of some of your sons. I must take a bottle of some of your sons. I must take a bottle of some of your sons. Hallelujah. What are the things you learn? Number five. Personal Bible study and prayer. Personal Bible study and prayer. First Peter chapter 2, verse 2. First Peter chapter 2, verse 2. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. I will call upon the Lord. Oh, it's hard to be So, shall I be dead from my enemies? The Lord, Lord, let us be the Lord. Then I brought all my salvation, he has all for them. The Lord will have us, let us be the Lord. Then I brought all my salvation, he has all for them. That's not that we're serving a way. That's not that we're serving a way. Bear the desire the sympathy of the world that you may go thereby. Personal Bible study, children of devotion, morning devotion, 
But the one song you do is for your family together. So your own Let's 
to the point of the control. I pray for you let you go. Let us know the path in your life. You never give up to us. You will never to be poor. You will never fall into partition. God shall live in the people. If it's not good, if I'm letting them out to us. Thank you, bless the God. In Jesus, mighty name we pray. In Jesus, mighty name we pray. I believe you have met a lot to learn. You have met a lot to learn. Even when people are mocking you, I believe you. People are mocking you. People are mocking you. People are mocking you. Is it that that even people are not talking, they don't have their sentence? Let me just put it that way. Hallelujah. Let me just put it that way. So we can tell them we pray a lot of things. Even when we are we a lot of things. People will talk to you, we tell them to do all of them of us. But take your stand. The fact that God is with you. Men may leave you, but God will not go to leave you. As God has told you, you will be kept to where you are going. They are telling you. Let me go! Let me leave you, God will not go to leave you. Then the first time you don't allow what to leave you. Take your stand. Take your stand. As God has told you, don't leave you. You will get to your destination. I'm telling you. As God has told you, don't leave you. You will get to your destination. I used to tell myself, you don't leave me. As God has told you, don't leave me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 